When you wake up in the morning, you're in a soft, warm bed, all wrapped in your comforters. Chimpanzees also wake up in a soft place. But instead of cotton sheets, it's the leaves and branches that make up the nest they built the night before. Both you and the chimpanzees must now leave your place of comfort and go look for food or forage. For you, foraging most likely involves walking into the kitchen and eating what your parents have made for you or pouring yourself a bowl of cereal. But for the chimpanzees, it is much more complicated. Chimpanzees typically spend their morning searching for fruits and insects, and this search usually involves traveling great distances. It has been estimated that in the course of foraging, chimpanzees may cover as much as nine miles per day. Young chimpanzees that still rely on their mother's milk as a food source may not have as much of a need for foraging, but nevertheless, they must travel with their mother while she searches for food. Once chimpanzees find a food source, such as a fruit tree or a termite mound, they spend some time feeding before they begin traveling in search of another food source. If the food source is a termite mound, they will also have to spend time making tools and attempting to catch the termites. As mentioned in the diet chapter, the food source could also be another small animal, in which case hunting would be involved in foraging. Thus, this process of foraging involves everything from the search to the eating of food. After a long morning of foraging, chimpanzees are naturally very tired in the afternoon. You probably are too, as your day at school is starting to wind down. The heat is the most intense at this time of the day, and the hot sun beats upon their dark fur, so chimpanzees look for a shady place to rest. The afternoon is a more relaxing time for chimpanzees. Adults may groom each other, and young chimpanzees may play. Often, chimpanzees spend this time lounging in a tree, and may even build themselves a nest, creating a more comfortable spot for their afternoon nap. Once school is over, you may also spend your afternoon relaxing like the chimpanzees by hanging out with friends or watching TV. Following this afternoon resting period, chimpanzees spend the early evening foraging once again. Your evening foraging is called dinner time. Once the light starts to fade at dusk, it's time for the chimpanzees to get ready for bed. When it gets dark out, you can just turn on the lights. But in nature, the sun is the only form of light, so it controls the chimpanzee's schedule. During these last moments of light, the chimpanzees reunite with their entire group, and each chimpanzee builds a new nest to sleep in for the night. Extremely young chimpanzees that cannot yet build their own nest sleep in the same nest as their mother. The chimpanzees remain sleeping in their nests until they wake up the next morning at dawn. When looking at the daily life of an animal, you should consider its behavioral budget, or how much time and energy the animal expends on different activities. Chimpanzees are generally active from dawn until dusk, and they spend at least half this time feeding. However, as mentioned earlier, there are a lot of other behaviors that may be involved in feeding, and should be considered in the budget as well, such as travel, tool use, or hunting. Do not forget that chimpanzees are extremely social creatures, and social interactions are likely to occur throughout their day and even become a main part of their day. Therefore, behaviors like grooming, dominance interactions, and play should all be considered. Time spent resting should also be included. If you were to make a behavioral budget for yourself, what activities would you include?